Hi, good morning. It's a pleasure talking to you all again. I recently had the privilege of hosting one of the tables at the Joburg in Daba. It was a fascinating morning and there were really some very interesting discussions around what is happening in the mining industry in South Africa. Three of the points which sort of stuck with me. One is, is around the big debate, should ESCOM continue with their coal fire power stations or should they move to uranium? And what impact that would have on both of those coal, the coal sector and the uranium sector in South Africa? I think there was big expectations with the latest developments where some plans were signed to continue with uranium um, enriched power stations and that would have obviously a positive impact on the local production of uranium. The other point was obviously the recent downgrades we experienced in South Africa and what effect that would have on the funding of our mining projects. There were some very strong views in the fact that people were thinking obviously capital is going to cost more. Would that really stimulate growth in South Africa? And would that help our declining mining industry? Some of the speakers put up some very interesting slides really showing the decline in the South African mining industry over many years. And I think this recent downgrade is not going to be helpful for new investment and more specifically international investors wanting to invest in South Africa. There are obviously the exceptions uh, where companies see opportunity uh, to invest and obviously hopefully those projects would bring new work opportunities and growth into our mining industry. Then lastly I think no breakfast would have been complete without a discussion around automatization. I think technology is going to play an important role in the South African mining industry going forward. As you all know we obviously have a lot of deep level gold mines and I think really there, technology can play a role. Not only to make it more cost effective, but also to improve our safety standards. Lastly, if you think about technology, I think it is not just in development, but it's also analyzing and also helping companies with their cost control. In recent times when commodity prices were low, companies had to redesign their operating models and really look at their costing and funding models. And I think that is now part of their DNA. And I think they are very cautious that although commodity prices are rising, that they make sure that their costs don't follow suit. And if the commodity price were to drop into the future, they would be then have a margin squeeze again. So I think executives have done very well in managing their costs and will continue to do so into the future.